Whoever believes in me shall never die. Mary, he's here! Who? Jesus! I got this phone call from my agent saying that they were interested in having me read for the role of Jesus. They were going to shoot the Bible. And I was like, I, I, I got scared. I mean, <laughs> there's no way I'm going to be Jesus. There's no way. Uh, it's just too big. Last are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So I was just like, okay, so what I can do is it's put myself on tape for that and do it in a way that I think it is the way. I thought it's the, the way I believe in, uh, the way I think it, it could touch people's hearts. So that's what I did. I basically put myself reading a couple of scenes and, um, and they call me. And you are the Messiah, the chosen one. I think we're living really confused times. We turn on the news and there's a lot of violence, but it's not just violence. It's getting into the insane point of violence that you don't have any reasonable explanation for stuff that is happening nowadays. It's, it's getting to the p a point that it's alarming, you know, and I think people are feeling that. I think people are just needing for something positive and, and something that can touch them in a way that can bring them some hope. I take it as a compliment, obviously, but I'm more, I'm waiting for the good stuff. And the good stuff for me, if, if somebody just snapped me on the shoulder saying, look, you, you did a, a pretty good job. And that's what I'm waiting for, you know, and that's, that's what I really, I'm hoping. You know, and something like this, more than anything, something like playing Jesus, for me, it's just like it, if only I can have one peep, one person, and it could go straight to me and say, "Look, you touched me, and you brought me something that I, I, I thought I lost it." That would be my best compliment. This is our last meal together. One of you here will betray me. What do you want with him, Judas? Just to talk. Are you the son of God? I am.
Blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. What are you saying? That you are the Messiah, the chosen one, sent by God? No! It has begun. Five thousand came to see him. Five thousand. Soon we go to Jerusalem. It's too dangerous. The Messiah from Galilee in Jerusalem would pass over her family. But if he comes, with thousands of supporters, the city will already be breaking at the seams with those arriving for the festival. King of the Jews! You can lead us like an army! We're strong enough to beat the Romans! Oh, this is not the way! Roman Jews! Let's show them! Roman Jews! <laughs> We must not allow this miracle man, this fraud, to disrupt Passover. The Last Supper starts almost like a party. Okay, it's a family party, which I really f I, I'm familiar with because I I had a couple of those in Portugal. So it's like people can connect with that, can can see their own family over there. And suddenly something happened, and we realized we're not in a family party. We're in the Last Supper. And that's a momentum thing that I think it's so authentic that the audience in, will feel that right there with Jesus. So I think that's we're, we, we were always working and looking for, and me specifically, I was, I was relentless working in every second to have that in each and every scene with Jesus to have this momentum thing of happening right there at the moment. So I think that's something that I'm not used to see in biblical project and especially not with Jesus. Jesus is always like kind of portraying that this that knows everything what's going to happen because he has his direct channel. Jesus was 100% the son of God, but he was also 100% human, you know. So I try to balance that um, during the moment. This is not written my house shall be called the house of prayer! There is something unusual about him. There is nothing unusual about him apart from his ability to cause havoc. If the disturbances that took place today are repeated tomorrow, I will shut the temple immediately. There will be no Passover. I will crush any rebellion. Do I make myself absolutely clear? The cross was really high, and, and, some t and we, we were facing like really strong winds. Sometimes we we can feel that the, the cross was you know um, I don't know how you say it like if shaking yeah uh, yeah so so sometimes we 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 feel that and it's like it's a rocky desert place so extreme like the sun was really really high so you can you can easily get sick uh, you know these are uh, you know just your body starts you you sweat all day and then you you have cold so it's it's then it's then dangerous for your health and for your uh, you know for your the conditions are not the they're that 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 good and, and on top of that you're being bitten you know so sometimes it's it's soft but sometimes it hurts you the, the that those whips sometimes hit you hard. So uh, obviously, I'm not complaining. It's part of uh, the, it's part of taking the role, but it's it's some, some everything can happen. I mean, you know, I, I've been thrown to the floor, and you know, I was I had no with sometimes no protection at all. So it's just like it's your bone against rock. So you can break something. It's so that's that's why uh, sometimes was 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 dangerous. 